In the deep, dark, and frigid waters off the coast of Labrador, life blooms in ways we never imagined. Working together, local fishers and scientists shed light on these understudied depths. What they revealed was extraordinary. A coral garden, more than 400 meters below the surface. A biodiversity hotspot, a deep water rainforest of the north. But this story didn't start with high-tech robots or deep sea expeditions. It started with a fisherman, a line, and something unexpected on the end of it. And it was right here, during a routine haul, that Joey Ungnatuk, an Inuk fisherman, felt something strange in his line. Heavy, but brittle. Familiar, but not quite. What came up was this, a fragile, branching piece of coral, deep sea coral. That particular place now, we had 40 nets uh, connected together. So anyway, after all the jigs and reels, we hooked onto the string, started hauling, and when the nets finally started coming up, there was a bunch of stuff on the net, like this here, and our nets were damaged. I was like, holy smokes, what's going on here? That was Primnoa, a cold water popcorn coral, and it's incredible. These creatures can live for hundreds and hundreds of years. They're basically the redwoods of the deep. Joey didn't just toss it aside. He marked it on his map. And that moment, that's where science and local knowledge meet and magic happens. With Joey's tip, the science team mobilized. Days at sea were spent mapping, deploying, and waiting, watching the deep reveal itself one frame at a time. Each descent carried the weight of hope and uncertainty. And then, after anxious hours of staring at the monitors, the silence broke. The team struck gold. A living coral garden, hidden for centuries beneath the Labrador Sea. It's tempting to say that we discovered these corals, but that's not quite right. Communities here in Nunatsiavut, fishers, elders, may have known about these life forms all along. Their knowledge just had not yet been amplified. To learn more, we have to be patient and listen. <laughs> 